Welcome to Storytime with Tabitha. I'm so glad you're here. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Today we're reading Daniel, God's Faithful Follower by Dennis G. Jones. Long ago, there was a good man named Daniel. He helped the king rule the land. The king loved Daniel very much. Some of the king's other helpers were jealous of Daniel, so they had a plan to get him in trouble. Daniel loved God very much. He prayed to him three times a day. The king's other helpers did not like that and made up a new law. People can only pray to the king or else. Daniel heard about the law. He went home to pray. He wanted to talk to God about the new law. The men were watching to see what Daniel would do. Would Daniel break the new law? Daniel prayed, Dear God, I love you. I do not like to disobey rules, but I will never stop praying to you. The men watched Daniel pray. They were very happy to see Daniel praying to his God. He was breaking the new law. Daniel, you are not following the new law. Do not pray to anyone but the king, said the men. I will never stop praying to God, said Daniel. So the men took Daniel to see the king. They said, King... Remember your new law? We saw Daniel pray to his God. He broke the law. The king was very sad. He thought about how to rescue his friend Daniel, but he did not have a plan. You must follow the rules, the men told the king. And so the king took Daniel to the lion's den. The sad king said goodbye to his friend Daniel. Daniel said goodbye to the king. The men were happy. They had finally gotten the good man Daniel in trouble. Daniel was going to be thrown into the lion's den. Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. The men smiled as they watched him fall down, down, down into the den. Daniel thought to himself, I am in trouble. Daniel looked at the hungry lions. The hungry lions looked at Daniel. He knew what to do. Daniel knew he needed to pray to God for help, just like he did every day. Daniel knelt on the ground. He started praying to God for protection. God heard Daniel's prayers loud and clear. An angel appeared and shut the lion's mouths. All night long, Daniel prayed to God. All night long, God's angel kept the lions away from Daniel. Daniel talked to God and thanked him for the angel's help. In the morning, the king ran to the lion's den. Daniel, the king shouted. <clears throat> How are you, my friend? Daniel smiled at the king. I am safe. God sent an angel. He kept the lions away all night long. The king smiled too. Get Daniel out of that lion's den, the king said. The king was happy that God had kept Daniel safe. He told all of his people about Daniel's God. The king said, God is a great God. The king had the other helpers arrested. 
That night, Daniel prayed, Thank you, God. You are great. The end. Thanks for listening.